Doodle Noodle is consisting of Z hopefully I'm saying this right, Zania, who is their goalie, who the man 97 who is their midfield and Spurtex who is their forward and we're really excited to see these people come out uh Spurtex is a newer player and is a Juno main so we're excited to see what he can do against these other players uh who the man 97 is a beta player and he's getting back into the game and he's looking forward to being in this tournament Sunia is also she has been playing since the t and she is one of the top oce midfield and goalies best juno in the region so looking to see if she can hold that team together and bring in some good talls and here we go we're getting right into the action yep looks like we had creator of large things built different as the two to decide in Odie village gonna be a little bit tough to score on you're gonna see a lot of these goalies play on one side of the map here and look to defend one of their barriers and hold it down so far though uh blue team holding it down on the end looks like we've got zinnia playing dracar goalie so gonna be pretty good on the damage side of things whenever zinnia gets her holds up beautiful beautiful to see this going on mr rambo who is a newer player but playing out on the goalie on the dubu is doing a great job so far holding that holding it down but they just got that goal open let's see what we can do here nice puck flip and right there first goal of the night everybody first goal of the night let's get it going who's going to take the first set huge play by the juliet good dash punch into this into the core flip Really, really strong, solid play. Not really much Dubu can do there unless he plays super far back and reads through that the, the perform is going to be delayed there. So, really nicely done overall, though. Oh, yeah. Very beautifully done. Here with the yeah, Juno getting down on that first open open barrier. Yeah, and it looks like what you're going to see here is the Juliet going to be playing really close to the Dubu, looking to try to dash punch it in, put some pressure on the goalie, and then Juno is going to try to uh, midfield feed the Juno, although right now you can see this Juno making strikes on that, so making it a little bit scary. Yeah, putting a little bit of pressure on that on that Dubu, doesn't know if he needs to be holding on there. Julia's trying to stay in that upper striker position, trying to get a little shot in, and oh, taken out easy. She was, it. she was very low, and oh, a little bit of a slip, and there it goes, that strike to shot right there, that dinosaur just coming in, super dangerous, suited up, yeah. ready to go, suit yeah, suited, dinoed up. Goalie coming out all the way out of the net to come up, crossing the, the yeesh line, some may say. <laughs> but a lot more effective hey. in this, honestly a lot more effective in this patch of the game, because you don't have to risk giving up a goal anymore. So if you've got one barrier, you're still fine pushing up. So really nice play by Zinia with the awareness there. Uh, red, red team doing a lot better here though. Two core flips too means that they should be able to secure it. Burns one, unfortunately. Aralia just losing it a little bit, but still have Zintaro here. If Zintaro can maybe get a bit closer to this goalie, we can they can secure the last bear here. Oh, Juno almost getting out there. It is Duba securing it with a log right there, just putting on that pressure and extra power and see if they can capitalize on this and take in that upper part so they can unlock that goal. Oh, Juliet getting extremely close to getting out, but she gets a healing orb right there, but she's still able to, she's still in her stagger zone, but she, she's able to potentially get this flip off if she needs, getting Centaro dangerously low if they can get up. And there it is. There's the knockout by our favorite little dinosaur man himself, Doodle Noodle, coming in strong. Can they they capitalize though. Absolutely. Dracar does a, a absurd damage and there again Dracar just one of the best characters in the game right now for sure. Really good at core control, really good at damage. You can see why there just securing the barrier. Huge pass to uh, Juliet. No, Juliet doesn't use core flip, uses it there. That's great score. Go! We'll take the first set. Great core flip usage by Juliet that whole set. Some might even say who the man? Who is the man? Because it's Juliet. It's Juliet today. And it looks like Drakkar getting the first pick. Aaron and Zintaro getting to go next will be pretty good, but Drakkar definitely yeah, going to take prime time. Prime time is easily one of his best abilities. Uh, can't Dubu give up here. the orb replica. Oh, there it is. Dubu will take it. Looks like Orb Dancer is not going to get taken by any team. Zintaro probably takes Stinger, yeah. Probably Juno takes Hotshot, yeah. Juno hotshot really really strong. So it looks I like see someone asking which team control. which team is which and it that would be the uh red team is Elo Express and then the blue team is the Doodle Noodle team. 
Again, just so anyone didn't hear that, the blue team is Doodle Noodle and red team is Elo Express. Thanks for that clarification in there. Yeah, definitely good to know. Oh uh, yeah, we'll watching the chat. I think that definitely that draft almost always helps the uh, the team that, that won. So blue team definitely going to be ahead here. Juno got a really big training. Jarkar especially got a huge training with prime time. So expect them to keep their dominant oh. performance. Um, but it yeah. looks like still, yeah, both sides are correct. And yeah, Zentaro with a huge kill. Zentaro can sometimes run over games uh, just with how big his dash range can be at times. So, and yeah, it looks like they're able to get the barrier there in the 3v2. Yep. They, they were able to capitalize even when they were down a little while they were down a little bit and hey that's a goal this game's Ooh. going back and forth we're not sure what's gonna happen here that unfortunate there Zinnia kind of did a little self pass in dirt they her own net bit unfortunate there but not to fear two more goals to give here and that was honestly all came from the KO onto the Juliet and if they can keep doing that then it's gonna go well but Juliet dying off the edge early not something you want to see no, not at all. That was a nice little dodge by her, kind of letting the ball slip by just so the Juno could could get that shot in. That was the Juno doing that. Let's see what Zentara can do here, doing a good job taking care of and doing that defense on that. Pushing up forward right here to see if they can clear and open up that goal, putting out a lot of damage into that era. Oh, Zentara very close to getting put out uh, right there. And big core flip, but getting cleared out into... Just stepping up almost all the way to that midline. Juliet sitting at that top. They got a nice and spread here and see if they can kind of pressure it in. Juno pushing up, but she is staggered, so she doesn't want to get too dangerous into a position because that Dubu could body slam and drop a log on her real quick if she gets too close. Yeah, you see with Built Different that both teams are just dealing tons of damage. Like this Julie is mm -hmm. always at 1 HP. This Zentaro is always at 1 HP. Huge, actually, play by the Zentaro there. Almost oh. scores with the dash. That is one of Zentaro's special ability. He basically gets a baby Estelle. And Zinnia with the eject button almost makes it back to make the save, so but close. couldn't quite get it. Very, very close on, on that with that eject button right there. No. Yeah, that's not something you see too often, eject button Drakkar, but it Ooh. does make a good deal of sense on this map. You, especially if you get something like Chrono Boost or Cast to Last, you can make a lot of Oh, big right tornado here. right there. Era taking out the goop girl, our girl Juno right there. Now, can they capitalize? They get one, they get two, and that's the goal open. Can Era help by staying in that position? She's staying right there in the middle. Oh, and she gets another knockout, keeping that momentum going just to keep them. 3v2. Dubu clearing it out. Can they fi finalize it? They do have a core flip there if Zentaro decides to use it. And the era uses it to knock out our dinosaur brethren. And that's the set for set right there. And yeah, sometimes Taking you see that with Zentaro. Up. Just a lot of da like Zentaro does a ton of damage by just sitting on top of you. Dashing primary into the ult can just do like almost your entire ult bar. So really big yeah, damage beautiful. from the Zen. And it looks like we might see Orb Ponderer for the Dubu if it's allowed. He did pick up Orb Replicator, so it'd be really big if he got to pick this. Let's see if the Julie takes it or not. Mm. And he doesn't. No, no, no steals. Dubu's so now Red Team is going to be dealing massive damage. I think this actually could turn the tides completely damage-wise. I think Red Team honestly should be dealing massive damage. Now that their cooldowns are just going to be shared across the whole team whenever Dubu picks up an Orb. Yeah, it's such a new, it's such a great new build here, and with the replicator, and if he can capitalize on it by getting these orbs, it's gonna show. It's gonna show how they how they take off uh, with with the, these cooldowns. It really helps out Zentaro getting a huge shutdown. Yoshi knocking them out there. See if they can capitalize here. But that's some big defense with Xena, and she was able to use that eject button to clear it out from the bottom, and then just pop right back in the top. And look at her, she pushing pushing straight up in there, and they've got the goal open. Really nice touch by Zinnia with the shotgun there to make space there. Aralia and Rambo just a little bit wanting to get that Juliet kill greeted. Just a teensy bit too much. Good job by who the man to stay alive. That was really critical for their team. Yeah. Seems like chat wants to see Ahmad get some more knockouts with their with their arrows. Supposedly a huge beast on Aaron. There she is 
Era is putting out quite the damage right there. Yoshi getting very low, trying to play just a little bit defensive so he doesn't hit that edge. And there it is, the dinosaur. You can't can't be playing that edge with that shotgun. He is too powerful. And Zinnia putting that pressure, making sure that they can't get up into their back line, being that kind of aggressive goalie there while Juno's watching for that backside. And they get it there. No, they still have one other side to defend to make that goal open. And Juno's down right there playing those edges can be so dangerous especially against this air and this this Antaro who have some amazing power and knockout ca capability even yeah, though air did just, just call get you out air will just call you out on your positioning so uh, if you're out of position on the edges especially on this map you're just gonna get killed too much of the time yeah, yeah. although it's just good to be on the edges in this map so Julia and era two of the scariest characters to go against it's just so easy to die mm -hmm. Zinnia there unfortunately getting cc'd by yoshi could make that save and now both barriers are open the only downside of drakkar really as a goalie is that he's so so slow has to always be using his haste in order to make saves so Let's very see very true passing and spreads uh drakkar out and it oh. just slips right by him the log just yeah just out of range and Great powerful log. logs yeah great powerful uh, logs and just there, too honestly. slow of a dinosaur yeah and he had just... already he had just he had just used his dash so like you said just he's just too slow sometimes to make those quick agile stops yeah this map sometimes you just cover a bit too much distance Drakkar definitely mm -hmm. will have the most agency in the game when there's only one barrier up he only has to defend this tiny little zone up in his uh area so Definitely gonna look oh, that to tornado this almost took him out. Possible. Yeah, that tornado, tornado was so close. If you don't close. evade it, will just do absurd damage. And yeah, even Aralo uses the core flip to secure the kill there. Oh yeah, it's such a powerful thing. Getting over on the edge, that core flip will do so much damage. Get you that evade. Oh, nice little block oh, right there, bouncing it off the wall. Yeah, Great that was beautiful by to Zinnia see. To one v two around Yoshi there, that was just perfect. Great use of oh. the shotgun, and that's where you can see where just Drakkar, once he gets the core, he just ma is insanely strong with it. Just does not let ever let go. But we'll see here who the man low HP Zintaro maybe looking for this kill, looking to like, potentially walk up on him, and oh, actually big. use the core. Really good use of the core flip to seat stun Zinnia. Zinnia could not get close enough, and Yoshi secures the kill. Only one more point for red. Yoshi, that was very, very core flip abusive right there in their goal net. Big plays right there by, by Doodle Noodle. And yeah, if you get a player with core flip in your net, there's not really much you can do. The only thing you can really do to stop that type of play is KOing. Like right now, you can see a lot of damage coming on Who the Man because he is core flip. Huge yeah, elusive to get through KO. that tornado. Yeah, really good juke. Don't use that tornado, you're just going to be suffering. But you'll see Juliet yeah. here, yeah, cracked. They're gonna look to kill her before she can use her uh, Corvo, but she gets it off. Does not get the barrier, fortunately, for Red Team. Oh, and there goes one. Just, you know, that slow dinosaur drew in the best they can. Cena doing some great, oh, but that shrink, the debuff is just so powerful. Era, just a crazy character, and that's the set for, for them. Yeah. That's the set for Elo Express. Two to one. The car is just one of the worst things possible because it just literally turns them into a, just like a rock. Cannot move at all. Low on slow. Completely stand still. But let's see if more damage can come out for blue. I think that's what they'll be looking for. It looks like actually Era going for more scoring with quick strike. Well, Drakkar take the oh the heavy impact. I was curious if you do the heavy impact or the missile propulsion, honestly, just for getting a little bit more range on maybe trying to get some more blocks off in defense with that shotgun, but I heavy think the extra damage will be done. Oh yeah, far and away, Drakkar's best uh, ability, like the best awakening by far. It's not close, because whenever you shotgun somebody in the court, he just gets another shotgun basically for free. That with prime time is just going to make it so, so insane. So definitely worthwhile to take that one. Um, so far, again, damage about even. Uh, it's like one person from red team, one person from blue team suffering. Let's just see who's going to die first here. It looks like it's oh. actually going to be uh, Mr. Uh, Zentaro. Zentaro getting caught out. Yeah, just kind of catching those edges. You know, sometimes you have to play those edges, and it can just be so, so dangerous. Air is super low, but that tornado was going to come out, and Juliet was not able to get that dodge off. She is getting bullied right now by the era. 
Need to be able to get some more damage in there. What a nice save right into the eject button to kind of clear that out. And good save again. Again, this is the part where uh, Drakkar is going to struggle the most. He really struggles the movement speed. And you'll see that it can just out of position. Just can't really get to that core in time. And unfortunately, Arali will just put it in in a perfectly slotted place. Zinnia just has to maintain this one core barrier just a little bit longer. Because Centaur is just having a hard time with all of his, this fast core speed right now. The really big kill from the is. Juliet coming out. Huge. Let's go. And Look at that speed these... coming out from the cooldown. Yeah, Adren Rush already had a <gasps> huge impact. Oh my god, the, the walls! The walls! Killed. Can't can't go so out like that. Close. Come on, Doodle Noodle. You guys are so close to striking distance to finishing this one and putting away and being the first winner of the first part section of the tournament. What do you got for us? Xena trying to hold it down right there. Era wanting to put that pressure in, and he does it to himself and almost! Can Zinnia hold on here in net? They, they almost have core flip up. If they can hold on for just a couple more seconds, they should be able to turn this around. But Yoshi has core flip. Can they give Yoshi the <gasps> rock? Can they procure it? Pass the rock! Pass the rock, Doodle Noodle! Dubu! No! The pass! The pass in the walls! Yeah, that's the right emoji for that one. Come on, boys. Come on, everybody. We can bring it together. Good ult from the Julie. Just had this right perfect angle. Dubu a little bit bigger, so doesn't have quite the same problems as uh, mm. Drakkar with speed, uh, but definitely just a little bit out of position there too, unfortunately for him. Yeah, it, it happens sometimes. He tried to body flip over there, but you know sometimes you just can't reach it. I'm getting that extra pressure on here right now from Elo Express to trying to keep it on Zinnia's. You know, she, she, they thought that that arrow was in her head. Uh-uh, dinosaurs in Era's head. Look at it. The flip, the reverse flip coming back. Let's and get honestly, it. that that was a great ult from Spurtex there to keep the, the Juno slimes just keeping the core in play there for like the past 20 seconds. Red, uh, Red team honestly just could not get a clear at all. Just unplayable for them. Juno just keeping it yeah. in play. That's one of the things Juno does best on this map especially. Especially, yeah, it's, it's, with with how big and spacious it is, she can really just sit in that bottom part and just kind of wait for those good opportunities and use those goops to clear and, oh, that was a big tornado kind of spacing out the dinosaur, just, what is he going to do? Is he gonna, yes. gonna, does he eat the, does he, do you eat the hit and just get knocked out and goes in anyway? Tough calls. Yeah, didn't, didn't have evade there in order to juke the tornado. That's almost all that you always want to do versus tornado is just press the evade button. Versus like any ultimate ability, to be honest. Pressing evade <gasps> is like almost always best, but if you don't have it up, what can you do? Exactly, and this is, you know, this is game set match point or game set set point for, for ELO Express. And, you know, this would be game point right here if Doodle Noodle can just finalize and finish it up. And they want to. They're looking for it. Era with yep. a big shrink right there, clearing it out. Oh, look at the little invisible dinosaur man getting out there and clearing it open. Love to see it. Xenia put little it in this work. Right Double now. 2v1. Yeah, 2v1 oh, from the goal. red team. Well done. Not able <gasps> to hold it. Oh, finishing Zinia it off. Well. Can they defend? Can they, Can they, they defend for the point? Good ult from Spurtex to hold on just a this little is bit tournament longer. Life. is only up in one second. Tournament okay. life is over. Doodle noodle. G G, really good close up. Uh, honestly, it looked like at the first game that Blue was just gonna run it over because of how much mm -hmm. damage they were doing. But Red is able to just fight back a little bit. That Orb Ponderer helping with the cooldown. Centaur was just able to go online. Definitely, too strong. You know, Era too strong. That too. Era Beam versus uh, Zinnia caused so many goals. So yeah, that and was also had like what. 8, 7 K, yeah, 9 KOs. I actually thought that was way less. Had at least like 7 of those from the Swarm itself. That So many good ults that caught uh, Blue Team just out of position there. That was perfect. Yeah, and there go, down goes Doodle Noodle. ELO Express, moving on. But yeah, you can see that Zentaro damage too. 32,000 damage. Sometimes Zentaro games are just really tough to deal with. Really hard to play. Was yeah, that was damage. a tough one to watch. And Blue Team, oh, honestly, it could have really went either way. They just hold on one more second there. But unfortunately, not going to move on here. And single elimination means that they are out. So That's their tournament life. They they, they threw down in the gauntlet. Era taking out one of her, te her, her own teammates. Getting in the head of Zinnia. And, you know, 
That's that's the name of the game, baby. That's the name of the game. Yeah, only the strongest will survive here. So whoever can find their the best characters, play the best game as fast as possible, will survive. But it'll be fun. As this, as I said, this is a draft tournament, so none of these players have really played with each other. Obviously, everyone knows of each other, but nobody. Hello, really Aralia. That was a great match. You know, the chat chat was chat seemed to be be rooting for you, saying that you you were fun to watch and getting some big knockouts. How'd that feel? Raleigh, I think you. Uh, I think she. You might be muted. Mr. Raleigh, yeah, can you ask? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see what the team vibes were coming in there. It was, it was a close win there. Ah, uh, I had uh, no headset. Perfectly fine. Uh, oh, Raleigh, just we we saw chat. Chat was uh, coming coming in uh, hot for you. They love seeing those big knockouts. How'd that feel? You had some huge shrinks there, some huge tornadoes kind of blocking out uh, your. I saw that it, it was one of your team players, uh, the the dinosaur. You know. Lady of not that many words. She's she's saying out there. She's crushed. <laughs> momentary technical difficulties as we give nope. Aralia permission to speak in the channel. Who's so f suppressed? You know, we just want to talk to ourselves. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're gonna keep no, we're, her you know, up. Yeah, you just we just answer the questions. Just yeah, no, no comment. You know, just go move no, on to the next one, right? <laughs> she's silent but deadly. You know, she came in and she said. No words. No words about this match. Let the let the game speak for herself. But let the game speak for itself. You know the gameplay right there is enough. Exactly. Too many swords. I, I had the most KOs from an era. You don't really see that too often. So, beasting out here. There we go. The, hey. She speaks. How was that match for you? Man, I was looking rough in the first round. I think honestly, that thing at infinite just kind of. Uh... We love Stinger. <laughs> Stinger does crazy damage, but you obviously yeah. got a lot of KOs with this just the swarm. Were you looking to place it more on the sides, or were you looking at like targeting anyone in particular? I wasn't thinking too much about the swarms. It was literally just press shrink on cooldown on the Julie and tell Zentara to hit her. <laughs> yep, Zentara. Uh, chat, was, did chat, chat was saying you were getting in. Quickly. Chat was saying that uh, you were getting into Zinnia's head. Did you, did, did you feel that? Did you feel like you were getting into Zinnia's head with some of those tornadoes blocking them out, blocking the goalie so you could kind of make some space? Oh, yeah, for sure. I think Aranado in the goal is kind of just not very un like playable because Drek can only shotgun through it, and then it just keeps shoving the ball. Oh, yeah, you yeah, have to have it. evade. It's just no, no other way around it. And, and she never had energy because that, I just told Zentara to hit her. <laughs> yeah, that tornado exactly. just living in their head the whole time. They couldn't, they didn't know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. yep. How are the team vibes uh, with everybody, with the new players? Uh, how were the team vibes all around there during the set? Oh, that, they're actually like pretty chill. They're all, um, <laughs> they were listening to your commentary first round and Rambo's like, nah, these guys are talking shit. I'm just the up. Let's go. Hey, that's what I want to hear, but you, if you if you guys don't like what, what we're saying, I want to see you guys play better. Get those goals. Come on, we're here for the hype. I want to see some honestly, good, hot game. I, I won't lie, Dubu did turn up after the, the first set, too. I'm not even joking. Like, held on to that set, to the second barrier way better than the first game, too, so. Yeah, so yeah. He, he threw those definitely logs. getting better at prioring one barrier, which he's been trying to get used to. Oh, it was huge. It was huge to see. You know, he had a couple of crazy wall plays, but those logs and a couple of huge goalie goalie goals, those feel so good when you get them from deep back. They're so nice. Oh, yeah. The, the Dubu wall hitting the course so hard when you throw it out is so hard to react to for Zinnia. Yeah, and, and Zinnia, this dinosaur being a little bit too slow, having to use the dash, but I like seeing the eject button on it. On, on him. It was very nice. Yeah, I was going to say, were you guys scared when Zinnia was like running up? I saw one goal, Zinnia ran up into you guys' crease. <laughs> Call, I mean, that I'm, out of I'm used to that. I, I've seen Zinnia play. Oh, really? she, she tries <laughs> to carry from goalie as best as possible, so. I, I respect yeah. it. I do the same thing, so. To thousand percent respect for that type of play style. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, it was a very fun game to watch. First, great way to start the stream off, great way to get this game going. Yeah, thank you guys very much for an entertaining set. Even on Oni, which yeah. is, you often don't see that too much, so we appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. Definitely, no, de definitely, and you know, we're gonna have to run it back. We're gonna have to get these games going again. Get this tournament running. People say Oni is the worst map, how do you feel about that? I hate Oni. I think Oni warps the game so weirdly with the speed barriers, and the the goal barrier positioning just griefs it. Even as it's a forward, true. It's I've so actually, the out. funny thing is, I've heard, so uh, Ghoulie, no question, Ghoulie, Oni is like the worst map for Ghoulies, it's not, not even close. But for forwards, I've actually heard differing opinions. Some people really like Oni, actually, as a forward player. What do you think about that? I think it's character specific. If you play Luna, Rune, stuff that really thrives with an open map, you're gonna like Oni. Otherwise, like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I always respect it. As Ghoulie, it's unplayable because you just sit on like one corner of the map and you just uh, press your abilities and hope that they don't get by you, so. Yeah, no, shoving along the speed barriers is just so annoying. What do you think works better for it? Would you say more like melee characters or like having run in like a full mage distance team uh, if, if that if it's just because it's so wide open there? I think picks like Julia and Asha kind of fucking suck on that map. Cause yeah, because there's just so the much core, space to The core can just move. run around you so easily. Yeah, you, if you play those characters, you just have to sit on the goalie and yeah. trust your teammates you to, to hit you. You have to give no other options but sitting on the goalie. Yeah. And if you do set like you saw them the first, like if once the Julie got the core, it was it was a barrier a lot of the time. It's just if that doesn't happen, then you feel bad <laughs> because you're just sitting there doing nothing. Mm. All right, well, looks yeah. like we're gonna hop into the next game. So thank you for the interview, Aralia. Appreciate the uh, input and best of luck in your future games. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, best of luck. Looking forward to watching you play.